Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy, sleep medicine and tuberculosis at Children's Chest Clinic New Delhi. So in this video, we talk about tuberculin skin test or also called commonly as the MAR2 test. The MAR2 test is a commonly used investigation for diagnosis of tuberculosis in children. How do we do a MAR2 test? So in a MAR2 test, we inject a very small amount 0.01 ml of PPD or tuberculin into the forearm of a child. It is injected using a 26 gauge needle or an insulin needle into the uppermost layer of the skin also known as the epidermis which raises a very small plaque. The test is nearly painless. Now once we do that, we wait for a period of approximately 48 to 72 hours and after 48 to 72 hours, we take the reading. Now when we read the Mantu test, we look at the area of induration or the bump which has formed in that area. We do not take into consideration the amount of redness or erythema which has happened. If the area of induration or the bump uh, which has been formed at 48 to 72 hours after the Mantu test has been given is more than 10 millimeter, then the Mantu test is said to be positive. Now, a lot of people ask me that my child has a positive Mantu test. What does it mean? So, a positive Mantu test means that the child is infected with Mycobacterium TB or the TB bacteria. Now, all children who are infected with Mycobacterium TB or have a Mantu test, they do not have active tuberculosis or tuberculosis disease. This is something which is extremely important to understand. So all children who have a positive Mantu test, they are infected with tuberculosis bacteria and they are said to have a latent disease. We need to find out whether the child actually has tuberculosis active disease or not. And that requires detailed analysis of the child's symptoms, examining the child for presence of lymph nodes, enlarged liver, enlarged spleen. It also involves some investigations like doing a chest x-ray and an ultrasound of the tummy. Now, can there be situations when the Mantu test is falsely positive, which means the Mantu test is actually positive but the child is not infected with TB bacteria. Well, there are situations when this can happen. One situation is if the child has been vaccinated with BCG vaccine and the Mantu test has been done recently. The other could be that the child is infected with non-tubercular mycobacteria, also known as NTMs. And the last situation could be uh, that the Mantu test has not been given properly or has not been read properly. On the other hand, there are situations when the child actually has active tuberculosis and the Mantu test is negative. This could be if the child is recently infected with TB bacteria because it takes approximately 8 to 10 weeks for the Mantu test to become positive. The other situations could be if a child is, is really malnourished, if a child has HIV, if the child uh, is quite weak, if a child has recent infection with a, uh, with a virus or measles or recently has got a measles vaccine. The other factors could be technical like the Mantu test has not been given properly. So in case your child is suspected to have tuberculosis, or the Mantu test is positive, you need to get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist or a pediatric tuberculosis specialist to get your child properly investigated and treated. Thank you.